terrible wildfires which are ravaging the state, both Northern California and here in Southern California. We're in Thousand Oaks where we're covering the Easy Fire, which started early this morning. It burned dangerously close to the Reagan Library. That's coming on the heels of the Getty Fire, which started on Monday when a tree branch hit a power line and started a brush fire. That's the situation in Southern California. Up in Northern California, they've been dealing with the Kincaid Fire and the big call. This is what we winds, extreme want winds to see, in Southern California, like the Southern, uh, the, it's, it's the Santa Ana winds, and uh, up in Northern California, they're also dealing with winds. Some 70,000 people are without power. Now, I want to show you some video that we shot just a few minutes ago and not far from here. This is a scene that is happening all over Southern California brush fires, fire crews off the side of the road. At least five Arizona agencies are helping in this firefight, which is one of the reasons we're over here. And with the winds the strongest they've been in a decade, this is a firefight that could go on for days. This is what we did not want to see, especially in conditions like this. Before daybreak. This fire is rapidly spreading right now. Fears becoming real in Southern California. Time to go, bud. Wind whip flames pushing once again across the landscape. Gusts of up to 45 miles an hour spinning up fire nados in Simi Valley, forcing new evacuations. Be ready and prepared to leave, and when we ask you to leave, please leave immediately. Look at that. They're probably uh, shooting up about 30 feet in the air. As embers spark new hot spots, flames hopscotching across the dry brush edging ever closer to the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library, where firefighters are making their stand on the ground as the aerial assault continues overhead. Meanwhile, 400 miles to the north, the fight against the Kincaid Fire is now a week old. More than 4,000 firefighters pushed to their limits in this battle against the state's largest fire, working to hold the fire line. Guys, it really is heartbreaking. Thousands of people have been evacuated. Homes have been destroyed all up and down the golden state of California. And, and what about pets and livestock? Take a look at this video. Earlier this morning, horses terrified with the encroaching flames and the smoke broke free as they were being evacuated. The good news here is all of those horses were rounded up safely and taken to a shelter about 30 miles away. But it is bad here. The winds continue to blow these embers everywhere, which can, can start those flames. And the conundrum is the power company here in Southern California and also in Northern California. They continue in anticipation of these winds to shut off power to thousands and thousands of people so that brush fires don't start. In fact, that's how this fire started here. The Getty fire started on Monday when a branch hit a power line and started a brush fire. It's extreme. It's a story, in fact, that, that we know all too well in Arizona. It's extremely dry here. The humidity is very low. There are a lot of dried out fuels. So the, the situation is just perfect for wildfires. And that's where we find ourselves, this inferno raging all up and down the California coast. Uh, now, coming up in just a little while at 430, we're going to take you to the front lines of this fire, which has been raging. Tram and Mike. Yeah, Mark, uh, I know that, you know, you are just about north of the L.A. area. Growing up in Southern California, I'm very familiar. When you speak of the power outages, in fact, just last week, you know, PG&E, it is right. California's largest utility company. They shut power off. And my brother, who lives about an hour east of L.A., he had no power for at least a day there. I was really worried about my mom, yeah. who lives nearby, too. Luckily, she had power. But, you know, when you talk about these winds, it's such a dire situation in California. These are the worst. We've had Santa Ana winds pretty much every year several times a year, but this is the worst it's ever been, isn't it, Mark? It, it is, Tram. Uh, Fire-driven winds, certainly nothing new to the folks in Southern California. They deal with it just as we deal with it in Arizona. But today and last night, 40, even 55 mile an hour gusts 
fanning these flames, blowing embers. Think for a second about someone shooting a flaming arrow. Uh, if you watch Game of Thrones, you know what I'm talking about. Well, these winds, the Santa Ana winds that you're talking about and similar winds up in Northern California are launching these embers. And so that fire can start and begin again anywhere and everywhere because conditions are so ripe. Hey, Mark, before we let you go real quickly, you know, these winds are unprecedented. Have firefighters given you how they're going about fighting this? Because, I mean, this is really new to them, even for their standards. Well, uh, all you can do, and, and Tram touched on it a second ago, if you're a power company and you know the Santa Ana winds are coming in, you shut off power in the areas where you think will, uh, the winds will be most effective. But at the same time, you're, you're shutting down businesses, you're hurting people's livelihoods, and how long with those winds blowing sometimes for days can you keep someone's business shut down because you're trying to prevent a fire? And then you add in the fact that there are people with generators that are, are running uh, on gasoline. You run the risk of starting a fire accidentally because someone doesn't have power, but they can't go without power, so they get a generator and try to run their business. It's a tough balancing act, that's for sure. It is so. such a desperate situation. Mar, uh, thank you is. so much. We look forward to your reports coming up later on this evening. Okay, guys. Yeah, stay safe out there, Mark. Thanks a lot. And Mark continues our coverage of the fires on First at 430, 12 News at 5 and 6 and 10, and the 12 News app, of course, and 12news.com. This story changes by the minute, and you can trust that 12 News will cover every single development. And we also want to let you know how you can help people who have lost their homes because of this fire. The Red Cross is already on the ground helping people in California. You can help too by texting the word Red Cross to this number 90999 to make a $10 donation.